Welcome back, dear students. Today, the topic is grammar, a rather and had better. Today, it's Tuesday, fourteenth, twenty and twenty. English Hub Three. Welcome to my Linda's class online. The English Hub Three course book. Unit. Last lesson, we talked about social beings, and some students grow their social blocks. Thank you a lot. I've made a wonderful video with your blocks. Thank you again. Now, today, our topic is about grammar. Read the examples. I'd rather had better. Phil, I'd rather walk than go by bus. I'd rather not play tennis on Saturday, if that's okay. You'd better see a doctor. You don't seem very well. You'd better not touch anything in Mike's room. It drives him up the wall. So, grammar. And the learning result is about identifying would rather and had better, using them correctly, and developing speaking ability using would rather and had better. These are the learning results. Let's proceed further. Rewrite the sentences using the words given. You have to do on your own. The first one, I'm going to do, it, to do it for you. It's a good idea to stop smoking. You have to use had better. You had better stop smoking. It isn't a good idea to leave your wallet in the car. You had better not leave your wallet in the car. Let's continue with other answers. You'd rather not play the piano in front of the people. You had better not lie to your parents. Please check in your books. We use would rather plus be infinitive to express preference about the present or future. It is usually followed by then. Its negative form is would rather not. In spoken English, the contraction is commonly used. I'd rather, you'd rather. I'd rather listen to pop music than rock. This is further information. Let's practice listening activity. You'll hear a conversation between Rob and his flatmate. What is Rob's main problem? His flatmate is messy. His flatmate doesn't pay the bills. His flatmate doesn't do the washing up. His flatmate is a liar. Let's listen to the dialogue and then check your listen. answer. A. You will hear a conversation between Rob and his flatmate. What is Rob's main problem? Hi, Steve. Where are you going? Out. What about the washing up? Oh, yeah. I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, right. That's what you said the day before yesterday. I will. It's just that I'd rather do it in the morning. Whatever you say. See you later, then. Wait. There's one more thing. The electricity bill came. Right. Listen, could you pay it this time? I paid last time, remember? I know, but I don't have much money at the moment. But you have enough money to go out. Um, Phil's treating me. Is he really? Yeah. Okay, I'd better go. He's waiting for me. See you tomorrow. Whatever. After listening the dialogue, you'll go. In, you'll find the right answer. Please check. It's number four. His flatmate is a liar. Listen to Rob talking to a friend about his flatmate and tick what Rob has already done 
and what he should do. Hello? Hi, Vicky. It's Rob. I need some advice about Steve. Not him again. I don't understand why you're flatmates with him. He's a mess. That he doesn't have any money. He should stay in and save a bit. I mentioned that to him, but he doesn't listen. He thinks university is just a chance to have a good time. We always argue about that. Doesn't he have any studying to do? He never seems to. It sounds like he doesn't care about his life, but he has to consider other people. He's not living alone, is he? You'd better sit down with him and talk about this problem, otherwise it's just going to get worse. I suppose I'll have to. But it's like talking to a brick wall. I know what you mean. My parents are like that. Mine too. Wait a minute. His parents own a successful business, don't they? Why doesn't he ask them for some money? They say they've helped him enough already. So now you have to help him. That's not fair. I know, but what can I do? You should buy a newspaper and get him to look for a job. Surely he can find something. It's no use. We tried that and he couldn't find anything. He just wants to be a DJ and nothing else. Well, I wouldn't hire him for my party. How can you trust people like that? Listen, if you want my honest opinion, I think you should find a new flatmate. You could be right, you know. I've been thinking about it a lot lately. I shouldn't have moved in with him. Well, it might be your best option. You really think so, huh? That's just my opinion, you know. You could always discuss it with a few other people. See what they say. They might have had similar problems with flatmates. I suppose it wouldn't hurt. You'll find a solution, I'm sure. Thanks for listening, Vicky. No problem. What are friends for? Let's check the right answers. These are the right answers. I'm supposing that you are doing the same thing at your home. Tip, when listening to a dialogue, pay attention to the speaker's intonation and word stress. This can give useful information about the speaker's feeling, mood or attitude. Read Susie's problems on page 96 again. Then talk in Paris and discuss what advice to give her. I think she should. I disagree. I believe she had better or I agree and also think she should. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Let's uh, come back to workbook. Read the uh, uh, situation and prompts and write the sentences giving advice. You said better or had better not. You have to complete on your own. I'm just giving some answers. Jula had better take a painkiller. Carol had better not watch TV all the time, so he will have to complete the workbook. George had better not go to work. Mary had better to buy her sister a present. Lisa had better not watch TV tonight. Please check from your house. Exercise E as well. You can do it. Uh, do them as homework. She had better go to the doctor. He would rather stay in tonight. She would rather not eat the eggs. They had better not play football there. She would rather buy the red ones. He would rather do the uh, ceiling. That's the lesson for lesson.